Hello, Clipposaurs. How are you doing today? Sorry, that was probably uncomfortable for you and cringy, all of that stuff. But today, I'm not trying to make you cringy. I'm trying to make you think, okay? Because I've been thinking about this. Um, so with the MBTI, uh, we all know if you didn't know, I, I'm, I'm thinking that a lot of people know this, but you know, a lot of people refer to MBTI as horoscopes, or they refer it to refer to it as like something that is just fun, and it's like pop psychology. Um, even though it is based off of research, I mean, people. It's not like people just said, okay, these are the personality types, like. People actually put effort into it, um, aka, uh, uh, I forget the names of the people, I'm so sorry. Um, Carl Jung, sorry, I remember now. Carl Jung, and, um, and then it was further developed by Elaine, I don't know the name, I'm sorry, forgive me. Um, but it was further developed by these another scientist, a female, well, not a scientist, but a female researcher. Okay, I'm completely butchering this, and now I have no credibility whatsoever. But don't quote me on any of that. Point is, um, you know, it's not like somebody just randomly was like, you know, who has like zero credibility was like, okay, uh, here are the personality types. There's 16 of them, and you are this and you are that. And that's the end of that. No, it's it's something that was developed with a lot of people contributing to it. If you don't believe me, just Google or YouTube uh, MBTI, and you'll see uh, a bunch of people adding to the understanding of MBTI. Like this is just common sense. I'm not, you know, I don't have any quotes or papers or studies with me right now, but. Just look at your look at it for yourself, and you'll see that it's common sense. Okay. That being said, right, we all have our personality types, right? We take quizzes online. I highly recommend taking the official MBTI exam. I did, okay, and I always emphasize this. I paid the hundred dollars, whatever the amount was, when you take the test. Okay. There's a there's a payment that you have to make because it's, you know, it's people put work into this they they deserve some royalties um, okay so I I did that my result was, what my result was INFJ very similar to many of the online quizzes that I've taken it's been INFJ so the online quizzes are not completely useless sorry people who created created those quizzes I mean not useless I mean some people think they're useless some people think they're just fake but um, they it works. I mean, on the online quizzes that I take, they I usually get the result INFJ. I used to start, when I first took the tests, you know, I would get like INTJ, right? Uh, maybe the first couple times, but as a teenager, you kind of like, you know, you're answering the questions based off of the way you want people to see you, right? You don't, you're maybe not necessarily answering the questions like, uh, like honestly, right? Because you want to like have a result that's cool, kind of like that. So, I would say that um, the quizzes online, you, you're taking them and you're getting uh, results, and it, it's pretty okay. I mean, like there's one that where uh, there's one personality test where like you, there's like little cartoon characters. They're like kind of like with square heads. That one's pretty good actually. I feel like because um, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for like good graphic design and like you know good imagery and visuals and stuff so maybe that's why but I thought it was pretty good like I got IMJ from that quiz and um, you know I, I, I like I, I feel like that site's pretty good I don't know just my intuition thinks that it's good uh, that being said these I think a lot of people don't like this MBTI thing because there's a lot of labeling going on you're an INFJ you're a uh, ESTP or you are ISFJ, whatever it is, right? There's a lot of labeling going on. 
And there's people that don't like labels, right? Especially the P types. Um, perceiver types, I feel like they don't like the labeling, okay? So when somebody's, uh, when you feel like you're being labeled, uh, it, it's very constricting. But I think with the judger types like me, we like the labels, we like the definitions, we like being able to say, okay, this is the conclusion, this is conclusive, uh, uh, this is a conclusive understanding of my personality type. Uh, the problem with that is that when we agree with something or we think that something is true, right? We think that um, you know we have this we have this information and uh, coming at us, and we think that okay, we accept that this is a true fact. Uh, it, it's it it is very limiting. So perceivers can be correct in the sense that we shouldn't let that define us, right? We shouldn't let this four letters define who we are as people. Um, the, like we, we, we might think that, um, that it's easier. Maybe it's like, you know, it's easier to be like, okay, this is my personality type. And this is the list of all the things that, um, that, that, describe me. And I would say that the descriptions that, I, that I've seen are pretty good, like they do describe me pretty well. But then again, there's, you read it and then there's something sort of be like, oh, well, that's not really true about me. So if we really do accept it and go like, oh, this is fact, and we accept everything that the website tells us, then we end up really limiting who we are as people. Okay, so um, with the MBTI, I'm fully, I, I'm a very, very staunch advocate for it. I believe that the MBTI is, it has been very good for me. It has been very good for understanding other people and, and being more and being more open and accepting different types of behavior. Like why do certain people say things this way or why do people behave certain way in a certain way that's different from me and you know it's annoying to me, but for them it's it's the better way of behaving, if that makes sense. Like um, you know, with introverted feeling, that always has been confusing to me because I I am aware of how uh, uh, how other people are feeling in a way, um, and for an introverted feeler, they don't really care about that. They don't really think about that actually. So by by being more open and being like, um, or by by seeing that and, and understanding that, I'm able to accept it more and and not be upset or um, or like be like more uh, be like uh, frustrated with other people's behavior. I'm more accepting of what's going on around me. Uh, that being said, we should never let it define us. We should never let these words, letters opinions, not, not opinions, sorry, uh, these, these uh, published websites define us. We should always be con constantly discovering who we are as people and, and being able to defy the definitions, if that makes sense. It's good to have a guide. It's good to be like, okay, I am vaguely an INFJ. I know that. Actually, I not, I not vaguely know. I know I'm an INFJ, but I, I see it as kind of like a guideline. It's a, it's a vague, not a vague, it's, it's a pretty good outline guideline for who I am as a person, but it doesn't completely fully encompass who I am as a person. So I need to continue to discover who I am and discover who I can be. I can't just limit myself. I can't be like, oh, I'm an introvert, so I'm never going to interact with people, right? It's impossible. Like, you have to interact with other people, right? <laughs> um, that's an extreme example, but it's an example. I hope that makes sense. That's all I really wanted to say today. I, I wanted to say that I've been thinking about this a lot, and I think it's important to not constrict yourself because of these letters, right? You got to be able to figure things out but for yourself and to think for yourself, okay? Because there's so much information out there. 
who knows what's real, what isn't, what's fake, what's real, what's true, what's false. At the end of the day, you have to form an opinion for yourself and you have to form your own thoughts because at the end of the day, you know yourself the best and that's what's that's what's going to help you be the best version of yourself. All right, thank you Cliffosaurus for watching Pound It. Pound It, I've never done that before, I don't know what. Um, but stay tuned, we got some giveaways coming up. So, so pay attention, okay? Because it's gonna, the information is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be here, and you don't want to miss it. You're gonna miss it if you don't, if you don't listen, if you don't watch, okay? Giveaways coming soon. We're we're working on it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.